There's a big difference between things that support foundational health versus things that have a direct impact on nerve repair. Imagine this, you've tried every so-called miracle fix for your neuropathy or peripheral neuropathy, turmeric smoothies, B vitamins, deep breathing exercises, and yet your feet still burn at night, your hands still tingle, and you're quietly wondering, why isn't this working? Am I doing something wrong? If that's you, stop right there. You're not broken, and those remedies are not useless. But here's the game-changing truth. You've been using support tools as if they were repair tools. That single distinction changes everything about nerve healing because nerve healing isn't a quick hack. It follows a very specific order. And when that order is wrong, wrong, everything feels like it fails. So in this video, I'll walk you through the foundations of nerve healing, starting with the ground zero essentials that actually repair and regenerate nerves. Then I'll show you how everything else fits on top of that foundation to optimize nerve healing. Once the order is right, everything else falls into place. Stay with me, this may be the missing piece you've been searching for. Coming up. Welcome back health warriors, Dr. M here. Here's the truth most neuropathy sufferers are never told. Your peripheral nerves are not permanently damaged. They're biologically designed to regenerate. They regenerate at a measurable rate about one millimeter per day when they're given the precise raw materials they require. This isn't wishful thinking or hype. It's established neurobiology backed by decades of research on nerve repair mechanisms. But here's the critical catch most people miss. Those raw materials are extremely specific. Without them, regeneration completely stalls regardless of how many anti-inflammatory foods you eat, how perfectly you manage blood sugar, or how many miracle supplements you try. That's why so many of you have left comments saying, I've tried everything and nothing worked. You weren't failing. Your body was doing exactly what biology dictates, waiting for the correct inputs in the correct order to begin real repair. Welcome to level one, the non-negotiable foundation for peripheral neuropathy healing and nerve regeneration. This is where we trigger direct structural repair, rebuilding myelin, restoring signaling, fueling mitochondrial energy, and activating the cells that drive regeneration. Level one doesn't mask symptoms. It doesn't just manage discomfort. It drives repair. Now, inside level one, there are two distinct paths. The first path is essential repair, or what we like to call restoring the building blocks. This level is necessary for everyone with neuropathy, regardless of the severity. It includes the raw materials ner nerve tissues require to rebuild structure, restore signaling, and restart basic repair mechanisms. We'll go over those raw materials in just a few minutes. For many people with very mild neuropathy, where symptoms are present for a year or less and aren't interfering with daily function, essential repair alone can drive significant or sometimes even complete recovery. The second path is regenerative repair. This path jump starts stalled regeneration. You typically need this if symptoms have been ongoing for two years or more, or if they're progressing or worsening, or if they're also interfering with your daily life activities like balance, walking, coordination, or sleep. In these cases, essential repair is still required, but it's not enough on its own. The nervous system needs more firepower, stronger biological signaling to wake regeneration back up. Here's an important side note, health warriors. Everyone starts with essential repair. Regenerative repair builds on it, but never replaces it. Now, let's look at those raw materials for essential repair. First, nerves have to rebuild the myelin sheath, the insulating layer that allows signals to travel smoothly instead of misfiring as pain, burning, or tingling. Some critical nutrients for the essential nerve repair phase include methylcobalamin, folate, and methylated form, and this is important pyridoxal 5-phosphate and R-alpha lipoic acid. These nutrients support myelin synthesis, they stabilize signaling, and they protect myelin from oxidative damage. Without healthy myelin, nerves can communicate correctly no matter what else you do. 
Second, damaged nerves need to repair the axon, the physical wiring. This is where benfodiamine, fat soluble B1, and acetyl L carnitine shine, supporting axonal integrity, structural repair, and protection against degeneration. Third, regeneration is energy intensive. If mitochondria can't produce enough ATP, repair stalls. Our alpha lipoic acid and acetyl L carnitine play a second vital role here, supporting mitochondrial function, reducing oxidative stress, and fueling cellular energy for regeneration. Finally, nothing reaches damaged tissue without proper delivery. This is where L-citrulline comes in. It supports nitric oxide production, so it improves microcirculation and ensures that oxygen and nutrients reach the nerves. When these come together, the nervous system can rebuild, but when even one is missing, repair slows or stops entirely. These nutrients have been clinically proven to be effective for peripheral neuropathy nerve repair. But here's a very common problem we see all the time. People try piecing this together on their own. They buy each nutrient separately from different brands, often in incorrect forms or not at the proper doses. And often they won't see many results at all. Well, the issue isn't effort, it's formulation. That pattern is what led us to create Nephoria CM Gold and Nerve Defense. We kept seeing people do the right things and still fail because the formulations weren't built for nerve repair. So we built ours directly from the research using bioactive forms, clinically appropriate dosing, and third-party testing to ensure purity and potency. Now, I want you to know what actually matters so you're not wasting your money. A common question we get is, how much of each nutrient do I need? And this is an excellent question because dosing matters, and it matters hugely, and guessing simply won't cut it. That's why we created this video, Seven Critical Nutrients for Nerve Repair. It breaks down the science in exact milligram ranges from clinical studies. So I'll leave the link in the description box for you below. But what happens when essential repair is in place and regeneration still hasn't fully re-engaged? This is common and longer standing nerve damage. At that point, the issue isn't supply anymore. The raw materials are there, but the repair signal has faded. This is where photobiomodulation, also known as red and near infrared light therapy comes in. PBM uses specific wavelengths of near-infrared light with specific power output measured in joules to penetrate deep and interact directly with nerve cell mitochondria. This is what PBM does. It increases ATP production so cells have the energy to regenerate. It decreases oxidative stress, a major roadblock in nerve repair. It calms inflammation, allowing regeneration pathways to reopen. And cellular communication improves, so repair signals actually take effect. Photobiomodulation provides the biological signal that tells the nervous system to use the raw materials you've already supplied and turn them into active regeneration. Essential repair supplies the building blocks. Regenerative repair supplies the booster signal. Once repair is underway, the question becomes, how do we keep it going and make it last? This is where the secondary foundation comes into play. The primary tools, the essential repair nutrients, are what actually rebuild nerve tissue. The secondary tools don't do the rebuilding. They make sure the rebuilding doesn't stall, fail, or fall apart. Now, let's look at a few components to secondary repair. First, nutrition. One of the most underestimated pieces. The foods you eat directly influence inflammation, oxidative stress, blood sugar stability, and micronutrient availability. All of these affect how well nerves repair and stabilize. But let's be clear. In moderate to severe neuropathy, nutrition alone won't rebuild damaged nerves or reverse peripheral neuropathy. It's powerful, but it's not the primary repair tool. The role of nutrition is to support, protect, and sustain the repair already started. It also helps reduce pain, burning, and tingling, and that matters. Now, at this point, a lot of you are probably thinking, okay, I get it, nutrition matters, but what am I actually supposed to eat? Which diet's right for me? 
Hear me when I say this. There is no single perfect diet. There is only the right diet for the right terrain, and neuropathy in particular is very terrain dependent. That's why we're releasing a dedicated science-based video soon on the best dietary strategies for neuropathy. Not because there's one perfect diet, but because most people with neuropathy also have underlying drivers that have to be addressed, like chronic inflammation, elevated blood sugar, GI dysbiosis, and other chronic illnesses. So we'll show you how to choose the best fit for your nervous system. In the meantime, check out our existing videos on anti-inflammatory foods, oxidative stress reducers, and nerve supporting nutrition. The links are below. That brings us to hydration, one of the most overlooked factors in the secondary foundation. Health warriors, hydrate, hydration isn't just about drinking water. It's about delivery. Nerves rely on blood flow to transport oxygen, nutrients, and repair signals. Good hydration allows repair materials to reach damaged tissue, while inadequate hydration impairs circulation, slows delivery, disrupts electrical signaling, and compromises repair, even when everything else is perfect. We've released two dedicated videos breaking down how much water you need, why the type matters, and whether filtered beats tap. Links are below for you. So remember, nutrition sets the environment, hydration enables delivery. Then the final question is, when does the body do the deepest repair? Well, that brings us to sleep. Sleep isn't a luxury. It's when the nervous system performs its deepest repair. During quality sleep, inflammation falls, growth factors rise, repair pathways activate, and the body shifts from survival to regeneration. Without adequate sleep, inflammation remains elevated and nerve repair can't stabilize long-term. Now, the biggest challenge for many neuropathy sufferers is sleeping because the symptoms can wreck your nights. So leave me a comment and let me know if this happens to you. If so, don't worry. We released a video on strategies to manage nighttime symptoms and reclaim your sleep. And now we come to the third layer, the tertiary foundation. This is where many people start and where confusion and discouragement often set in. Strategies like stress reduction, movement, balance work, vibration therapy, breathing practices, meditation, yoga, and nervous system regulation are invaluable tools. They're often used first because they feel helpful, but they're not designed to initiate repair. They work best only after the first two foundations are solidly in place. And to be clear, there's nothing wrong with using these early on, just understand what what they're designed to do. They support the nervous system, they improve function, and they help you feel better. But they're not meant to kickstart nerve repair on their own. That's why expectations matter. The primary repair tools have to come first, that essential repair phase and regenerative phase. So what do you do next? First, take a breath. This has been a lot to take in, and I want to be very clear about something right up front. You haven't ruined anything. Trying to heal your nerves, even in the wrong order, didn't make things worse. It simply explains why the progress you were hoping for hasn't shown up yet. This isn't about failure, it's about order, and understanding the order is often the turning point in healing. Next, take an honest look at where your nervous system is right now. If you're early in this process, start with foundation one, the essential repair and regenerative phase, and make sure your nervous system has the raw materials it needs to repair. If you've been dealing with neuropathy longer, make sure essential repair is paired with the right regenerative strategy signals like photobiomodulation, and then supported by a stable secondary foundation. And if you've already been working on stress reduction, movement, breathing, or meditation, you're not behind, you're actually ahead of the game. Now, you simply understand where those tools fit in. Remember, you don't have to do everything at once. You just have to do the right things in the right order. Health warriors, one quick favor. 
please share this video with someone who's, who's struggling on their healing journey. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so we can keep bringing you excellent quality and empowering science-based guidance. Remember, you're not behind. You're just starting in the right place now. I look forward to seeing you on the road to great nerve health. Blessings. Components to secondary. Uh, <laughs> I guess.